This is gonna be a video on making a uh, wiring harness for the Mustang. When I installed the original wiring harness for the electric water pump and electric fans control module, I pulled all the wiring a little farther than I expected through the fire hall, uh, wall of the Mustang. And so now the module is actually up underneath the dash. So I need to extend the length of that wiring harness. So I got another wiring harness and I wanna run this up through the dash and into the console just in front of the shifter so that I can see uh, the uh, temperature as well as what and the fans are still running and the water pump is still running. So I've measured out that I need about this much length to extend. And if I go from this section here where it's taped up I need about that much. So I'm going to actually go to about these fusible links since they're already in the current wiring harness. I'm going to go to and uh, cut them off right here, strip it, and then I uh, can show you how to make these connectors. There's two parts of it. You have the male and the female. We're going to make the male section. And uh, in the car, in the next video, I'll do the female section. I think this is going to be a whole lot easier than trying to uh, solder all of these wires up underneath the dash. So uh, actually on the male connector, you actually use a female pin. So uh, let me get all these wires cut down and stripped, and then we'll get to uh, crimping these connectors on. So I now have all of my wires stripped down and cut to the proper length and uh, so now let's get on to uh, crimping these connectors onto the wires so we'll start with this one so first thing we want to do is we want to load our connector into the crimping tool and we want to get it flush with the uh, back side here. Gonna get it in just enough. The angle right, keep spinning. There we go. Yep, there it's flush. And uh, I'm gonna set it to one click. There we go. And now start off with these wires here. Give it a little twist. Well, come on now. So we're gonna slide it in there until you can feel the plastic hit the other section. And then we squeeze it all the way to crimp it. And then we have one of the uh, pins connected. We'll do another one here. First, we're going to load it into the crimping tool. It's a little bit tricky to get these things lined up without spinning. Oh, there it goes. And get it to click just a little bit. Yeah, it's flush. Wire 
is nice and twisted. I know this one's wanting to uh, hit something. There we go. All right, we got it in to the plastic to the first till it hits a stop and send it home. And there we go. There's the other one. So let me get the rest of these done and uh, then we'll get and show you how to install it into the actual connector. Okay, so I now got all of my pins done and now we're gonna install it into the connector. So I'm gonna start here on the end with this, these uh, two black wires. And uh, the way you do this is you simply just push the pin through the rubber uh, seal. So we're gonna put these two on top of each other. Let me switch this up. Insert it, push it through till it clicks. And here's the next one. And there it goes, it clicked in. So next we're gonna do this green wire. Put that one on the top. And it clicks. And then the other green wire we will put right below it. Clicks. And next we have the red wire, our power wire. We'll put that one on the bottom. Okay, and then next is the ground. And then this black wire. There we go. Need to push them in a little farther. There we go. All the way until they click. There we go. And then finally our blue wire on the top. And that's how it should look. All your pins should be flush up here on the front. And then we're gonna take the wedge. Okay, let me do it wrong side. There we go. Thinking that should go farther down, but it's not for some reason. Turn it around. Try this one.
And there we go. We have our connector. So in the next video, we'll be building this one. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do that inside of the car. So uh, I'll get some lighting set up. Um, and uh, we'll build this, get the, uh, the other one pinned out and put this connector together in the next video. So I'll see you next time.